Hi friends, I'm back with another video today. So this week we're learning all about plants. And what do we know that helps plants grow? What do they need? That's right, they need sun and they need rain. That's right. So we know rain helps plants grow, but what else do we know about the rain? That's right, it helps make our grass green. And anything else that we know about the rain? It helps give the, the animals water to drink, good. What else? Yes, that's right. It rains when it's cloudy out, excellent thinking. Now, have you ever wondered how rain is made? Do you think you know how rain is made? Okay, well, let's get started and we'll see. We're gonna make an experiment today to see how rain is made. So we know rain comes from the sky, that's right. And you said that it rains when it's cloudy. So clouds are formed when water vapor, which is invisible gas that you can't see, it rises into the air and it forms these little droplets. When lots of droplets, they stick together, it makes a cloud. And when the water droplets grow, Together, they make the cloud get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that cloud gets so heavy that it can't hold it anymore and down falls the rain. That's called precipitation. But if it's really cold, it won't rain. What do you think will fall from those clouds if it's really cold? That's right, it will form snow, snow will fall. So we know that rain comes from the clouds and when the clouds get really heavy with all the water droplets inside of them, it can't hold it anymore and the cloud opens up and down falls all the rain called precipitation. I know that's a big word, let me hear you say it. Precipitation. So I'm going to try to make with you today a cloud in a jar and we're gonna see if we can make it rain. Do you think you can help with that? Are you excited? We're gonna be little scientists today. So to make it my experiment, I have a glass jar and I filled it to the top with water. Now you'll also need to make this experiment if you wanna do it at home, you're going to need shaving cream, the foam kind. Okay, so I'm going to pour some shaving cream into the top of my water. This will be my cloud. Okay, so I have my cloud. Now, what color is rain? When we draw rain in our pictures, it's the color blue. So I have blue food coloring. And I am going to pretend that this is the water droplets and it's making my cloud get really heavy. I wonder if my, what will happen to my cloud when it gets super heavy and filled with rain. What do you think will happen? I don't know, let's fill up my cloud with rain. Oh, and Dusty makes another appearance. Dusty wants to see what happens to the cloud with the rain. Let's see. My cloud needs a little bit more rain, I think. It needs some, well, it needs some more water. Hmm, anything happening? No, nothing's happening yet. Okay, and this experiment is slowly starting to work. What is happening? Let's see. All of the water droplets that I put into my cloud is making the cloud so heavy, the cloud can't hold it anymore. And what's falling from the cloud? That's right, the rain is falling. Can you see that? Wow, that is pretty neat. Let's see if we can get some more rain on this side. Hmm. 
Oops. Wow, look at all of that rain falling. Let me bring it closer. So all of the rain is falling from the cloud. The cloud can't take the water droplets anymore. It made the cloud so heavy. All of the rain is falling. So if you have a jar at home, a glass jar, and you have shaving cream, and you have blue food coloring as the water droplets, then you can experiment and make a cloud and rain. That is so cool. Let's get another closer look. Look at all of that rain falling from the cloud. All right, I hope you boys and girls enjoyed this experiment. Maybe you could do it at home if you have these ingredients. And if you do make the experiment at home, take a picture because I would love to see your cloud and your rain. All right, enjoy the day.